Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Introduction to LD Micro. In this tutorial, we will explore LD Micro interface and create a simple ladder logic. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system and LD Micro. To follow this tutorial, you should have LD Micro installed on your system. If not, please refer to the relevant LD Micro tutorials on this website. Let us launch the LD Micro interface in Linux. Go to the Unity search bar and type LD Micro. Double click on the LD Micro icon. You can also launch LD Micro through terminal. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Type LD Micro. Note that all the letters in LD Micro are small case. Press Enter. Windows users can launch it by double clicking the executable file. We can see Program Editor window opens. The horizontal lines in which we write our ladder diagram are called rungs. The rung with end instruction denotes the end of the ladder diagram. The two vertical lines at the start and end of each rung are called rails. The left rail is connected to positive and the right rail is connected to ground. Thus, the current flows from left rail to right rail. Now we will see about instructions. In ladder logic, we categorize instructions mainly as input and output instructions. Output instructions are always the last instruction in a rung. Every rung must have a minimum of one output instruction. Now we will learn how to place instructions in LD Micro. Switch back to LD Micro interface. In the top menu bar, click on Instructions. There are many elements available under Instructions. Every instruction is placed at the current cursor position. We will first place a contact by clicking on Instructions, Insert Contacts. The letter C in the Insert Contact menu represents the keyboard shortcut. You can either use the menu or the shortcut keys to place the instruction. We can see that the cursor is blinking before the new contact. We can now see that the contact is inserted at the current cursor position. It is named as XNEW by default. We can see a input output list at the bottom of the window. All the variables used in the program will be displayed in this I.O. list. Below the menu bar, you can see a toolbar with icons which are frequently used. For example, the first icon is Normal Contact. You can use this toolbar as well to place instructions. Next, we will place a coil. For that, place the cursor to the right end of the contact. This can be done by clicking with the mouse pointer at the appropriate position. Otherwise, with the help of arrow keys, you can change the cursor position. In the menu bar, click on Instructions, Insert Coil. We can observe that the contact appears red, whereas coil in white. This is because an instruction gets highlighted when cursor is placed near it. Here, the coil is placed automatically at the extreme right of the rung. This is because it is an output instruction. Try placing an instruction to the right of the coil. Place the cursor to the right of the coil. Click on Instructions. We can see that no instruction is enabled. Therefore, 
no other instruction can be placed at the right of an output instruction. If we move the cursor to the left of the coil, we can place another contact. But we cannot place a coil. Place the cursor to the left of the coil. Click on Instructions. We can observe few instructions are disabled. These are output instructions. Contact is an example of an input instruction. There are many such input instructions. We will learn about different instructions and their behavior later in this series. We can even add multiple input and output instructions in a single run. Multiple inputs can be connected either in series or in parallel. Whereas multiple outputs in series is not preferred. However, we can add multiple outputs in parallel. Switch back to LD Micro. First, we will see how to place input instructions in parallel. Place the cursor below the contact. We can see the cursor blinking horizontally. Insert a contact by clicking normal contact icon. Now, we will see how to place input instructions in series. We can add another contact in series to the first contact. Place the cursor to the right of the first contact. Now, we can see the cursor blinking vertically. Insert contact as shown. Similarly, we can add coils in parallel as shown. Let us try to add two coils in series. Place the cursor to the left of the coil in the first run. Click on Instructions. Notice that we are unable to add coils in series. We can also delete a particular instruction or an entire run. Now, let us see how to delete. Select the newly added contact which is in series with the first contact. In the menu bar, click on Edit. Click Delete Selected Element. Similarly, Delete the contact in parallel to the first contact and coil parallel to the first coil. Now we will add a new rung. Click on Edit. We can see options such as Insert rung after, Insert rung before. I will select Insert rung after. Now insert a coil in the newly added rung as shown. Now we will see how to change the default names of these instructions. Double click on the contact. A dialog box opens. Change its name in the name text box to switch. Click on the OK button. Similarly, we can change the name of the coil in first rung to LED1. Change the name of the coil in second rung to LED2. The reflected names will appear in the I.O. list. We can notice an X prefixed before the name of the contact and Y for coil. The first letter is prefixed for some instructions by default. Let us see the manual of LD Micro for prefix naming convention. In the menu bar, click on Help and then Manual. Scroll down. Under Basics, we can find the list. These are the prefixes if we create a variable called Name. The prefix letter indicates what kind of object it is. Close the manual. Let us save the file. Click on File and then save. Save pop-up window appears. The ladder logic files are saved with the extension .ld. I will save it as sample.ld in ld micro folder on the desktop. 
This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to explore LD micro interface and create a simple ladder logic. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSSE forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSE and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSSE team signing off. Thanks for watching.